In the world of binoculars, it's a very flooded market. So when Primary Arms reached out to us here at the Hunt Fish Street channel and asked us if we'd like to try out their binoculars, I couldn't help but say, let's give it a shot. The best thing I could tell you about binoculars is that it's a good thing when there's more options on the market because what it ultimately does is drive innovation and at times, for a lot of users, it drives the cost down. Myself, I've used, let's say, a litany of different brands binoculars. I've used high-end ones and I've used low-end ones. I've used, let's you know, say, the cheap Walmart specials and I've also had to go to the store and look through a pair of Swaros or whatever it might be. With Primary Arms, they have their all new SLX 10x42 model binocular and the GLX 10x42. These are two different tiers of binoculars. Ultimately, these are gonna be your cheaper ones and these ones are a little bit more expensive. But with both of them, they're extremely affordable. So that's $179 for the 10x42 model and $279 for the 10x42 GLX model. With both of them, there are some differences. The glass quality on both of them is different light transmission on both of them is a little bit different as well. With most binoculars that you get, you are gonna get your lens cups or covers with these, which as a hunter, nobody literally uses those lens cups or covers. So really manufacturers, you don't need to throw those in there, but they come with them. You won't need them, especially if you're using something like this Numa Bino harness, you throw it in there, it holds your binoculars, keeps them covered. With the eye cups on your SLX, they're three position. So ultimately you have your lowest one, they go up one more, which has like a, uh, a little bit of a click to it per se. So middle, this is your eye relief adjustment and then goes all the way out. So with these, sometimes it depends on if you're trying to wear glasses or whatever it might be or how you wanna actually put the binoculars to your face. So with the SLX model, you have these thicker eye cups on here and then you have thinner ones on the GLX. I think the thinner ones you have on the GLX are more something you'll see on a premium pair of binoculars. And in my opinion, it's quite a bit nicer. It feels a little bit better when you're looking through the binos themselves. In addition to that, it helps out with your eye relief. They both have diopter adjustments on here. You'll notice with the GLX model here is it has more of a knurling on there and these ones have a more subdued to standard, let's say linear checkering. The focus knob on here to actually focus these in is again, more knurled on your GLX. So your more expensive ones have a better knurling job on here. And your SLX is just a standard linear check it, checkering. With that being said, they're both very, very smooth. There's no, say, binding I'm noticing getting in there. And in fact, what's nice with both of them is as you go further to the left, as you go further to the right, they actually start getting a little bit tighter. And it's nice because you can almost tell where you're starting to get on the end of that focus adjustment. With both of them, they are, I don't wanna say they're loose, I'd say they're just right. I don't think either one of them is loose enough that if it's inside your harness or you're in an exposed harness, it's gonna be bumping that focus wheel and ultimately make it so that your adjustment goes out of whack while you're walking around hiking or hunting. Glass quality on both of them seems to be good. I've looked through these in low light, daytime, out at distance and everything like that. They both produce a very sharp image. The GLX is considerably better. For $100 more, I think you're getting quite a bit more than what you get in the SLX. The SLX, it's extremely budget friendly. These ones are starting to get closer to the $300 range, but I think if you're comparing them to the rest of the options on the market, they hit the mark with it. They truly compete with everything that Vortex and Loophold and you know who else makes them in that Bushnell, they make them in that price range. These compete with those, no doubt. And this is their first time. You do get a minor lanyard with both of these. You get a soft case from Primary Arms that comes with both of these. Again, as a hunter, most of us, we, we have a bino harness. You get your box, you get your harness that they come with, you get your soft case, you get the cup, eye cup covers, you throw it all away, you throw it in your harness and you go hunting. And that's usually what happens. With both of these, I think really Primary Arms is doing a wonderful job at hitting the market and producing an option for, let's say, new hunters that need a good option for binoculars that don't want to spend a ton of money. Maybe you're somebody that's learning and you don't want to go out and spend two grand on a pair of Swarovski binoculars. Those aren't for everybody. If you don't hunt enough, they're a complete waste of money. If you're somebody that goes out and you're in the whitetail woods and you're going on a yearly elk trip or something like that and you go hunting out west yearly and you're just going out there from let's say some of these eastern states like Ohio, these are a perfect option for you. They really are. Lightweight, magnesium bodies on here. They seem like they're well built. On top of that, Primary Arms has a awesome lifetime warranty program to where they'll ultimately exchange your binoculars for you and get you some new ones. Couldn't be happy enough to test these out for them. I'm glad they reached out to us and I'm glad that I could showcase them and show you all here at the Armory Life.